Warning, failure to follow the instructions contained in the package and to watch the Surefoot DVD could result in death or serious injury. Hi, I'm Wendy Murdoch. I'm the originator of the Surefoot Equine Stability Program and the designer of the official Surefoot Equine Stability Pads. We've worked really hard to come up with a product that's gonna be working well for you and your horse. But there's always a risk involved when working around any horse, and so it's important to keep yourself as safe as possible. Please be sure to read the instructions contained on the inside of the insert sheet and to watch the DVD thoroughly before beginning Surefoot with your horse. It's really important to keep yourself safe and have a good time, so please adhere to these warnings. Here's the quick start guide to getting started with Surefoot Equine Stability Program. I've got my variety of pads set out here. The impression pad is orange, the green is firm, the purple is medium, the blue is soft, and the slants are yellow. And I also have my pods. When you're starting with Surefoot, the thing that's most important is to keep yourself safe. So if you see that the horse is anxious or upset in any way, you really wanna pay attention to that and not force the pads on the horse. I always like to take the pad and offer it to the horse and let him look at it. And if he touches it, that's great because you want him to know that the pad is coming. Many horses turn their head away and won't look at it. And that's okay too, because a lot of times they feel a little threatened. But as long as the horse isn't running back or getting really anxious, you can go to the next step. After I've presented the pad, I drop it on the ground near his foot because I wanna see if the horse has any kind of reaction to that pad hitting the ground. I don't wanna be underneath the horse if he's anxious. So it's always important to just observe the reaction. As you can see, Al is totally unconcerned about this. So I know I'm good to go. And I'm just gonna come over and pick up the foot and notice that I use my hand on the leg to place the foot. In other words, I keep my hands away from the hoof. I can either lift the leg and hold the cannon bone and use my foot to position the pad or I can hold the leg from above the knee this way and also position the pad. When you let the foot down, you wanna make sure that your feet are clear. Sometimes horses will step wide, sometimes they'll step forward. So you always have to consider where you are around your horse to be safe. It's really important when using Surefoot to be in an open environment. You don't want any objects or obstructions around. And if the horse is at all anxious, make sure that there aren't any people that are in the way. So always take the precaution to be safe with your horse and so that this is a positive experience. When I change the pads, I usually look at how the horse responds. In this case, Al's quite fine with the firm. So I'm gonna move that out and I'm gonna to switch to the medium, which is the purple top, and it has more spring. Again, I place the foot on the ground. I lift the foot, kick the pad into place and set the foot down. The horse determines how long he stands on the pad. If he's relaxed and comfortable like Al, he can stay there for a while. But you have to realize that as the horse is standing on the pad, they're making little tiny adjustments to their balance. And if they're not used to the system, this can actually work those little tiny postural, postural muscles quite a lot. So you have to be the one to decide if you see a lot of swaying and a lot of rocking and moving, that it's time to take the horse off the pads and go for a walk so that we don't make those muscles tired. The horses will really enjoy the pads, but you have to be the one who recognizes, like a good parent, that maybe staying there for a long period of time isn't the best thing for the horse. You can always come back and repeat this process later or the next day, and so you can keep offering it to your horse and allow him to enjoy the experience, but at the same time, keep in mind that they're doing a lot of work with those little tiny muscles. I'm gonna switch from the medium and go to the soft pad. Again, I'm just gonna lift the foot and I can kick it out of the way with my foot so that my hand is never near that hoof. And I'm gonna just switch it out and go to the soft, which has a lot more give. Again, I can place it on the ground, pick up the foot, slide the pad into position and let the foot down. And as you can see with the soft pad, there's a lot more give. And Al certainly seemed to enjoy that. His head came down. Signs that the horse likes the process are licking and chewing, sighing, breathing, eyes closing, and head lowering. These are all signs of relaxation. And this is what we're looking for when we use Surefoot with the horses. So 
They get a lot of comfort out of it, but at the same time, it changes their relationship to the ground. So it's always a good idea after the horse stands on the pad for a little while to take them for a walk because the idea is that they want to gather the information from the pads and then go back to the regular earth because that's where we want to be and exist, right? Is on the normal footing. So the pads simply bring in that awareness that allows the horse to make a change in the way he stands, moves, and behaves in relation to the ground. I'm going to switch now to the slants. The slants are angled, and I typically use them with the yellow surface on top because of the angle here. It makes them more stable. You can use them on the other side, but you see that now we have a right angle, and there's a little more chance that the pad will flip up. The pads are soft, so even if they do flip up and hit the horse in the cannon bone, they're not going to cause any damage. And so that's one of the really great things about these slants. I use the slants in front and behind and I look for changing the angle slightly in the horse's leg. So I'm going to pick up the foot, kick the soft out of the way, and put the slant down. And as you can see, it's just raised his heel a little bit. And this is going to make a little change in all the angles. I find a lot of horses that are stiff or arthritic really like the slants. And so what you're trying to do here is offer your horse a variety of pads and densities and angles to give them different experiences to make them more aware. Because the Surefoot Equine Stability Program is about bringing awareness to your horse and letting him make changes in his own nervous system. You're the facilitator in the process, so it's really important that you listen to your horse and watch his reaction as you go through the process. I can also use the slants by reversing it. I'm just going to pick up the foot. Kick it out of the way for a moment, let the leg down, change the angle. And place it underneath his foot in the opposite direction. And as you can see, this really drops his heel down. Now, I typically like to use them heel high. But again, what we're looking for is to give the horse a variety of experiences so that he can make the change in his own nervous system. Some people say what we're doing is affecting proprioceptors in the leg. And I'm sure that's one of the things that's happening. But there's many subtle little changes that we'll see with Surefoot that include proprioception, relaxation, and changes in the attitude in the horse. The impression pad is a very, very firm pad. And when it's in cold weather, it's going to get even more firm. The beauty of the impression pad is that it's going to take the impression of the horse's foot, but not spring back when the horse steps off. So it's a really great pad to see how the foot is loading, and also for anxious horses or horses that pull back. I like it to use as an introduction when I'm not sure about a horse, because I think it's a little bit uh, more like the ground than any of the others. And I'm just going to pick up the foot and place it on the pad. If he steps back on it, I'll just do it again. And I really like to leave them on it for a few minutes if I can, because then we can see that load on the pad. It'll stay as an impression into the pad. And so I'm just going to let him stand on this for a moment. But you can see that it's very firm, and it's going to give really slowly. So it's kind of a really nice way in, because the horses at first feel that really firm sense of the ground. And then it starts to slowly give. And you can watch how their eye softens and their facial expression softens as that pad slowly starts to sink around where the weight and the pressure is. So I'm going to let him stand on this for a moment so we can get a nice impression, and then I'll show you what that looks like when we step him off. All right, so we've let him stand on the pads for a little while, and I'm going to take his feet off, just kick him back out of the way. So I'll just brush that sand off a little bit, and you can see that impression of his foot. And you can see what we've got a frog, and here are the bars, and here's the foot. And we can see the weight distribution, that we have a little more weight coming down on this corner of the foot than we do over here. Now, I've seen horses change as we use the impression pad during that session and how they load their foot. So it's great information for you to see what's going on, but it's also really interesting to see how that changes through the, uh, through the Surefoot session. 
And I think that this could be really good information for your farriers who want to see exactly how the horse is loading his foot when he's working on them. Because you can put them on the pads and just take a moment and let them make that impression and then see where they're loading. There's one other product that we have that I'm going to show you, and that's the pods. The pods are domed, air-filled pods. And what I really like about these is that when the horse stands on it, they're going to push back up into the foot. And you can see how the horse is loading his foot. So I'm going to go ahead and place the horse a little more towards you so you can see the foot on the pod. I'm going to pick up his foot, put the dome where his foot was, and then let it down. And so you can see that I've aimed it for the third row of dots, and I did a pretty good job here first time out. And I'm looking to see, does the horse load what I call a straight load, right down through the column of his leg, a toe load where he has more weight to the toe of the foot, a heel load where the weight's more to the heel, or a lateral load, either medially toward midline or laterally to the outside of the foot. As I look at how he loads on that pod, it gives me a great idea about how his foot is meeting the ground when he's moving. We really want the horse to land very straight and solid on his foot, but if I see that he's really standing on the outside edge all the time, this could explain some of the problems I have in riding. I'm gonna go ahead and put the other pod underneath the other front foot. And you can see that we have a bit more of a heel load on that foot. And as he heel loaded, the pod slid back a little bit. So now you can see that we've got more of a straight load on this leg and a heel load on that one. And notice how the pod is kind of sliding a little as he keeps putting the weight into the heel. So this is one of the things that you can observe when you're using the pods. I really like them for this part, but the horse has to be willing to let you target his foot to the dot, to the pod. And so that's where you need to work with the flat pads first before you move to this. I think of this as, as advanced for foot. So the impression pad is great for your anxious horse, horses that pull back, horses where you want to see how they're loading their foot. And it's just another one of the surfaces in the lineup of surefoot pads. The firm, the green pad, is the workhorse in the series. It's going to take a, a lot of different kind of horses. The pad is not weight dependent, so you can use it with a big horse like Al or a little tiny pony. The medium pad is springier, and so it has that rebounding. I really like that for horses that um, you want them to kind of bounce off the ground a little bit more. And I find that a lot of people really like the medium pad. The soft pad is the blue. It's got the most give. Sore-footed horses, horses that are older, horses that may be a little tender, like the soft pad, but also the big guys like this. And then the slants can be used angled either direction, heel high or toe high. But I like giving the horses that change in angle, both in front and behind, to offer them different variety of, of feeling and change in the joints. I really like using them behind <laughs> with the pods in front because that gives the horse a, a really interesting comparison of the angle change in the back feet and then the pods on the front feet. But remember, you can mix and match the pads. You can do either just lateral, just the right front, right hind, or left front, left hind. You can do diagonal, right front, left hind, left front, right hind. Just one foot, two feet, three feet, or all four. When doing all four feet, just keep in mind that the horse's got to really figure out where his weight is. And it's not uncommon for them to take one foot off one of the pads to ground it on the earth. And so it's totally OK. And afterward, you'll find that they probably don't want to do that too often because there's so much information that they've gotten from standing on the pads under all four feet. Once a horse is used to that, he might like that a lot. But again, the key to Surefoot and being successful with your horse is to really listen to them and let them show you what they like and not force them to stand on the pads because this is an offer and it's for them to explore and you to enjoy. And always remember that it can change your relationship with your horse 
so that he looks to you for the one bringing comfort to him. And so please have a good time using Surefoot. Make it an interesting experience for you and your horse. And please give me feedback and let me know how it's going.